How do our genes control the development and behavior of cells, tissues, and organisms? How are these genes turned on and off? And how can gene mutations lead to a complex disease such as cancer? These are some of the questions that we treat in the module Advanced Cellular and Developmental Biology. Our goal here is to deepen the student's understanding of molecular mechanisms controlling the development of organisms and the process of tumorigenesis. The module is subdivided into lectures on different topics. It contains a practical part with lab work and a section that is dedicated to the reading and presentation of scientific articles. Overall, you will thus acquire theoretical skills, practical skills and article presentation skills. The course language is English, but the exam can be taken in English or French, and during the course questions can be asked in both languages. A particular feature of this module is that it starts on the main campus in Dorigny, but during two weeks the students will work on the Epalanche Biopole campus in the north of Lausanne. There are six different topics that will be treated in this module. The first part of the lectures provides a detailed examination of the mechanisms controlling body patterning from the single cell to the adult, focusing on the core knowledge gained from studies in Drosophila. This course will also discuss how pathways controlling cell and tissue patterning are modified during evolution to lead to the incredible diversity of animal morphology in nature. The second part will treat the molecular mechanisms underlying circadian clocks and show how so-called clock genes regulate physiological responses and behavior. Circadian clocks will be compared in various organisms varying from cyanobacteria to mammals. The third part focuses on cell cycle regulation and genome maintenance. The students will learn how cells commit to the cell cycle and how cyclines and cyclin-dependent kinases orchestrate the progression into the different phases of the cell cycle. Moreover, the mechanisms underlying DNA repair and recombination processes and their coordination with the cell cycle will be discussed. In the fourth part of the module, we will explore the mechanisms of protein ubiquitination and their degradation by the proteasome, focusing on the role of this mechanism in mammals. This course will also cover the role of ubiquitin-mediated proteolysis in plant signal transduction and discuss ubiquitin-like modifications of lipids, which play a role in the degradation of proteins and organelles in a process called autophagy. The fifth part of the module treats the mechanisms of post-translational gene regulation that are fundamental for proper animal development and are often altered in human diseases. The sixth and last part of the course focuses on the molecular basis of cancer. We will explore how genetic alterations in key signaling pathways can promote the proliferation and survival of cancer cells and see how the knowledge of such alterations can be exploited to develop new cancer therapies, including cancer immunotherapies. This part of the module is combined with practical lab work in which students will perform experiments and use state-of-the-art techniques to assess the growth and proliferation of cancer cells in vitro. A final goal of this module is to coach and train students in the understanding and interpretation of the scientific literature, which is an essential professional skill. The training consists of a theoretical introduction on how to read and present scientific articles. Then, the students will work on a scientific article of their choice and prepare an oral presentation, for which they will be coached by the teachers of the module and their assistants. The grading for this module is as follows. 75% of the grade for the module are based on a written exam with questions concerning the different lecture parts. 10% of the grade are based on a written report of the lab work, and 15% of the grade result from the preparation and presentation of the article. In conclusion, this module is ideal for students who have a strong interest in fundamental research and the understanding of molecular mechanisms that underlie biological processes such as development and tumorigenesis. The module also provides an excellent training for subsequent master's studies in molecular life sciences and medical biology.